Welcome back to Age of Engineering, and it's time to make the algorithm separator. It's um the next machine in the chain that we really need to get to, so I've really expanded more, more and more of these crafting grids and done some more work, at least preparatory work, so we don't do too much on camera, uh, with the uh, you know with this setup over here. These are all now up to 800,000 RF, so 3.2 million each. Um, when stuff needs more than that, then we're out of luck. But <laughs> until then, it's fine. The Empower setup is working. Um, and this setup does supply a bit more power. So, you know, another 40 RF per tick helps to charge it so that we can get things going. Speaking of getting things going, we're going to need a few things. Uh, first one is a mining laser. Uh, that is an IC2 thing. Not that I ever really use it, but uh, it can actually mine. It basically shoots uh, a laser beam straight ahead and breaks all the blocks in the way. Uh, that requires a few things. Um, I think this is an unshaped recipe, but if, if not, uh, it might actually, might actually be shaped. It looks kind of shaped. Uh, yeah, so maybe I better move those over here <laughs> and get some redstone. Redstone? Uh, redstone? Redstone. Okay. So I'm going to need one of these for now, but we'll want more later. I'm just going to leave some extra advanced alloy. Uh, the one piece of that that we haven't done yet is the advanced circuit. And normally that's quite simple. However, in this mod pack, it's this. So we've already made these 400k RF in the Empower. These require double, but they are... Um, well, let me just show you these. Um, there's a few things to get. The recipe in the Empower is Prismarine. Very simple. Um... You just put the nether quartz in front of the atomic reconstructor. Fish, obviously. Simple. Cobalt we've already got. And this is blue slime crystal. This is the one where it's a bit trickier. You need to get blue slimy mud, which is slime balls. Um, and I think it's only the blue slime balls as well. So that's a bit of a problem if I need to any more, because I think I'm out. So I'm meaning to go hunting for slime islands <clears throat> or possibly uh, get some slimy saplings. I think I may have some. I'll check whether I picked up any up. And, uh, you know, maybe be able to get those from this little slimy saplings. So you cook that up and then you put it in the Empower with everything else. Around a palace crystal, which is just uh, essentially lapis in front of the Atomic Reconstructor. So you eventually get this. And I went and did that because it's more demonstrating the same process. So we've got an advanced circuit, which we can then put in front of here. And this will give us a mining laser. The mining laser is something we can put in here. In here, let's try that again. A few of these other parts. Electric motor is a relatively simple item. Um, again, IC2 stuff. And yeah, just tin guys and casings and coils. Nothing excessive from that. We're going to need another advanced machine casing. So we can put that in place. And we get the thermal centrifuge. Power tier 2. Yeah. I assume that means that's something like 16 EU per tick or something, or 8 EU per tick instead of 4. Uh, I'm not actually sure where to put that, to be honest. But for now, let's put it here. Uh, yeah, I don't even need these machines anymore, because, well, not for the moment. However, I am going to need the power, aren't I? Hmm. Where's the power going? I've got it going all over the place. Uh, yeah, let's put it there, and we'll just run the power. Okay. Now, the thermal centrifuge allows us to make a few things. One of the things is that it opens up nuclear power. <laughs> and we're going to need to build a nuclear reactor, yes, unfortunately. I've had some issues with, with those in the past, through a few mistakes, and uh, they didn't go well. And in fact, they... You could almost say they exploded uh, in, in popularity, and um, y yeah. So, um, we are going to actually have to do that. In order to do that, I'm going to need just to connect the power up to start off with. And then we basically have to wait for this to heat up. So, let me just go and do that, and um, we'll come back. I don't think there's anything else here that we need until we get that going. So, let's get it going. In fact, I actually have some already um, made up in my inventory, or at least some of the copper cables, so I may as well just make this on camera. Um, let's just grab those. We've got some copper cable. I'll just put that back in there for now. And then we can hook this up, hopefully, um, one there and one here. Yeah. So this is going to start warming up, or it should do, I think. 
Yeah, 48k EU per tick. It's going to drain that, however, from our bat boxes. So at some point soon, I'm going to have to think about the next tier up from these. These are going to drain really quite fast. So, so we need uh, to look at these recipes for the thermal centrifuge. Um, one note is that if you are going to go for nuclear fuel, be very careful because as soon as you take the uranium ore, uh, uranium ore and crush it, then it starts becoming radioactive and does damage to you. Until that point, you're probably safe. And so once you get into some of these things, yeah, it can be a little bit of an issue. Um, we do actually use this for stone dust, which I think is for CF powder. So we want another quartz and that will turn into a tiny pile of lithium dust. They, we get nine of them, so we need 18 uh, nether quartz for some lithium dust which in turn we can then use in the Empowerer to craft diamantine, crystal, diamantine crystals, okay? So 18 nether quartz for that. Fertilizer we've got, benitoite, oh my, benitoite? Benitoite, okay? Uh, you get this near the roof or the floor of the nether. The roof is obviously easier to access and ash is just burnt peat. And then you need a diamantine crystal, uh, whoops. Diamantine crystal, which is just diamond in front of the atomic reconstructor. So we have everything we need, aside from just some nether quartz. And I wonder how much nether quartz I actually have. I want to say, oh, not quite enough. No, it's, it's killing all the power. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use coal. So I need to put some more power back in. Yeah. That's only halfway filled. It's just drained all of the power out of the system. So we'll have to maybe look at some more power generation options. But for the meantime, let me just go and look for some more nether quartz. And um, we'll be right back once that's done, I think. Um, yeah, I need four more. Uh, two more, even. All right, I've had to craft a few more generators just to get enough power for this thing. It does hoover up the power. So let me just actually cut that back off again, just temporarily. We'll let the power build up in the bat boxes. And now I need to go and grab a couple of items. One, uh, let's just grab you and drop this. There we go, and put it back on. Then we got the diamantine crystal. Pop that into the center, and then at the bottom, we need to get a crafting grid. Um, <laughs> actually, I'll put one out here. I've not already got one. I should already have one out here. This will do. So, crafting grid, just all nine of those tiny piles of lithium to get lithium dust, and this should complete everything. We get blue. And that's draining pretty quickly, isn't it? It's going to do 2 million, R, uh, 2 million RF to actually do this. So 500,000 from each one. So as soon as each one hits 300,000, uh, that should be enough to make it. Of course, that's quite expensive at this stage of the game, but uh, I'm sure that will change over time. So while that's going, I guess we should have a look at the Atomic Reconstructor. Uh, the Atomic separ Algorithm Separator. Ah, oh, these names. <laughs> um... Algorithm separates it. So yeah, it's going to let us make things like weakened diamond, which we can then use to make the advanced greenhouse. And again, these chambers of the various kinds that we're probably going to need. Chambers. So uh, extraction, restoration, reassembly. There's precision and processing and analyzing and <laughs> storage and all these other things. But um, if we have a look, this is the early one. So this comes from a diamond in the algorithm separator. Uh, this comes from redstone and uses the extraction chamber. And the same thing with this one, but with enriched gold, which we've already made. So what I'm probably going to have to do, yeah, is to get one of each of these. I'm going to have to make three of these to start off with. And do they both use the same thing? They do. So I'm going to have to have one diamond, two diamonds. Uh, and is it also for this? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to need uh, five diamonds sacrificed. And uh, lots of power cubes, it looks like. And we've got our diamantine crystal, the empowered version. All right. And then we should be able to pop this into the rest of the recipe. Uh, these stone separators are just a couple of the power cubes with some other, you know, trivial bits and pieces. Nothing uh, excessive. We've got the algorithm separator. And if I hold shift, you can see 
It uses 5000 RF for, for operations, so I'm going to need this somewhere near RF. Um, why don't I put it maybe here for now? And let's see. Just knock a hole through that wall. There we go. And we get this screen, pause, current percent, remove circuits, etc, etc. And we get an option to do stuff. So um, let's just grab a diamond. Let's see how well it actually does this. I've got zero RF at the moment. So I guess we're going to need some kind of fuel. Let's go and grab some of our furnace fuel. Charcoal, that is. Uh, and we can probably get the mini charcoal as well. Yeah, let's just grab that. We've got uh, quite a lot of charcoal on the, on the go there. So no real problems. And I'll pop inside and prop this in here. And then I can probably also craft a uh, you know connector for the water wheel and have that just off this, which is one of the reasons why I'm having this wall run. Oh, this may well transmit next door. Yes, it does. So that should work. And it's on pause, but it's filling, I guess. So we're going to wait for that to finish, and then we're going to have to get a few more of those done. So what was it I said? Five diamonds? Um, let's put those in. And it's already done one set. So it looks like as it fills up, it does gets to 100% and uses it all at once. And this is, of course, generating all of the power we need. But it's obviously sharing it with the stuff we've got out back over there. It's getting dragged into those because there's a lot of large batteries. So, yeah, let me go through and make a few of those. And I'm going to do is create some of these extraction chambers. Um... So I'm going to need three power cubes and each one of those needs compressed coal balls. So I guess we should just macerate up that coal and then I'm going to need to compress it on the other side. I thought I had some of those. Oh, I do They're in my inventory. So we're going to need something like that. And then the redstone block and some cobblestone like that. Something along those lines, if I remember rightly. Uh, let's grab some more cobblestone. And there we go. More in there. Um, do we have any? Yeah, we've got some more redstone. Got quite a bit of it. it. Tends to just pile up at this point, but that's okay. Seven. Put you in the. Is that the right recipe? I did remember the right recipe. That's good. Um, now that's going to take a while. Okay. So let's come back once uh, we've got those power cubes and we'll complete the recipes. All right, so I've got one power cube made, so let's make one extraction chamber. And I'll just put that over here for now. And I think I'm going to go and place this, um, yeah, maybe, maybe here, actually. Just because I'm going to leave enough room for the other chambers. Not sure if they need to be right next to each other, but, you know, let's give this a go anyway. So extraction chamber looks like a good, nice interface. Quite lab good labeling as well. So let's just pop this LVY connector onto the back. And do I have any of the coil? I do. Good. Let's grab you and distribute you to there. Are you getting power? You are. Good. And I'll do that once I have more connectors. <laughs> it's actually clay. I need to go. I'm being lazy. I need to go and get more clay to actually get that to work. Uh, I've got some coal dust. And let's get another one of those. Come on, compression. And that'll let me make another cool what can we do with the extraction chamber okay so it does a couple of things the main one is cobblestone and to get into these damaged circuits dirty circuits i guess can get to a circuit that way through the processing chamber uh damaged circuits again the processing chamber is a more advanced uh, item though if we have a look at that how to make it they need the atomic calculator and some floors diamonds mm. No, <laughs> I don't have that many diamonds. So instead, we can use the reassembly chamber to go from a damaged circuit to a regular circuit. And those, I assume, can be used in a few things. But one of the things that we actually want is this circuit. So again, we can go through the reassembly or restoration. Um, both of those are fine. So we've got damaged and dirty. And if we go back one. Those are in the extraction chamber and come from cobblestone again. Although I'm not sure why this is gray and the previous one it's not. So 
Hmm, I may have to investigate that. I may have to investigate the mod a little bit more. Uh, have we got any more coal dust? We do, good. Let's just reuse that. And uh, get a second one on the go. Um, there we go. So we can just grab that. Get a power cube. Power cube in here. We can get a second extraction chamber, which we can then use to make a restoration or reassembly. Not sure on which one which one's needed first. So let's just get some cobblestone. I uh, should have around somewhere. Um, yeah, that will do. Pop this in here and let's see what it actually gives us. Um, is it specialized cobblestone? Extraction chamber. Cobblestone, is it bricks? Just bricks? Or any chisel except any cobblestone, it says, and it produces small stone and damaged circuits. Um, uh, actually, it's, uh, it needs 50 KRF, I think it said. So let's leave that for a little while and see if this actually starts. So if you're starting to use these particular, <laughs> these particular blocks, uh, do watch out. The IE wiring, which is pretty much the only really cheap wiring at the stage of the game, doesn't work if you just plan to connect it onto this, or at least it does, but it doesn't fill it all the way up to the top and then it doesn't actually start. So instead, if you use uh, one of these first cables and then connect that to it, it seems to work fine. So just bear that in mind in case it doesn't work for you. Uh, so let's see if it's actually output anything yet. It's output small stone. So let's just put in more cobblestone. And it's still building and is actually going to start. No, I think it is going to actually wait until it's full again. So yeah, 50k RF per try. And it's going to take a, a quite a few tries, I imagine, before it starts. So I put anything so we can get on with other stuff, I suppose. So we may as well make the other chambers as well. And we'll see what kinds of circuits we get out of this after it actually charges up again. So the other one is the restoration chamber. And... I'm not sure what order they should actually be in. Uh, we're going to need to pass them from one to the other anyway. So I'm not going to worry about it too much for now. I'm just going to pop it in place and I'll figure it out later. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to have to move my steps at some point. So I may as well move them now. And what I'll probably do is make a few more of that first cable and then move this across just so we've got everything up and running. So restoration and reassembly is the other one. So I think we need a calculator for that. And I've still got some stuff in there. So we just need one of those, I think. And that it's those around the outside. We've also then got to make one more power cube. Uh, yeah, let's grab that. Is it the power cube in the middle for this one? Or is it, uh, I do I need the, yeah, the reinforced stuff around the outside first. Yeah, and then this around the outside. Reassembly. All right, so that's the third one. And obviously we can move these later. Now uh, let's put that in place. And there. Okay, so uh, I think I have, do I have enough for two more of that? Two more should do fine. Let's put back here and again, we can just knock this off. Hopefully without too much of an issue. And then we can place two more. And I guess uh, here. <laughs> this is going to be the shortest of a cable, but uh, that'll be good. Um, there to there. So hopefully all those machines should now be powered. However, of course, we've only got this one furnace generator, the water wheel. And that's pretty much it. But, you know, they are good passive or passive-ish. <laughs> the furnace generator isn't passive. We need to get more fuel for it, so let me go and grab that from the outside. But uh, these should be charging, but maybe all of it's being used by you. Hmm. Yeah, let me keep monitoring that, and hopefully that will get fix itself. Now, as that's going to take a while, I left it going for a while, and uh, came back, and it's now made quite a few circuits. So we're going to need a few of these anyway. So we may as well get a few piled up. 
It makes the small stone, and this is the stuff that gets used for CF powder. Uh, so you've got a stock of it. So we need one of these. We need one of these, and we need one of these, I think. So I put them in the reassembly chamber, and they're now done. These two were already done. Pop this in place, and that's not the recipe. <laughs> Is it a carpenter, I imagine? Yeah, it, is, it probably is the right recipe, just not in the right machine. So yeah, we need to build a carpenter, which is straightforward. I need that sturdy casing I made. I think I put it in this chest or... It's in one of these. I was on the way to the mine. I think maybe this top one. So yeah, you want the sturdy casing, which is here. We can always make more of them. You need some bronze and some glass. Nothing uh, excessive. Six bronze, I think. And a couple of glass. Oops, not a spider eye. A couple of glass. We're all heading towards the draw controller, of course. So, um, we want to build this somewhere. Have I already put some stuff in? Guess not. Let's just grab that and put it in here. Steady casing. Six bronze and two glass. <clears throat> Where's the glass? Invisible. There we go. Carpenter. Great. Uh, does that require water for that particular recipe? Um, looks like it does. So, um, that's fine. We just need to put it somewhere with water. Hmm. Okay, again, I'm just going to put it up here. Let's grab the carpenter. There we go. And put that in place. Above that, I'm going to put a fluid tank. I've just filled that with some water. Where did you go? Yep, oh, there we go. I'm going to set the output side to just the bottom. Push. And water's filling up. No recipe, so we need to fill that recipe in. And I'll take that bucket. Uh, empty tanks with the pipette. Zero RF, so let's go and connect it up to the RF system. And I'm not sure if I showed you this, but I extended that first pipe like that. And we'll set up some kind of uh, glass generator for, uh, for more of that stuff. So um, this is getting power directly for this one. So I guess we could hook them both up to the combined system. So I don't have to keep burning things. Uh, one, two. And then we need the coil. Like that. Okay, that should power them. Yep, you're getting RF and it's storing power. Now we just need to transfer the stuff for the material, uh, the circuit that is, across. Uh, so three circuits, redstone and diamond. One, two, three, four, and put the ingredients in there. This just sets it as a recipe. This is why we're going to need several carpenters anyway, because uh, we just set the recipe once in each of them and just, just feeding the materials and, you know, job's done. Uh, so where is the last, yeah, circuit? And a couple of diamonds. Why can't I see the diamonds? Um. How oh, very odd. Okay, maybe it's a sink issue. Maybe you saw what I did. I don't know if I erased them. <laughs> what? Let's go over the diamonds. Anyway, two more diamonds. And that should start if those are all the right things. Um, it's a basic circuit. I forgot the the these circuits slightly wrong. That's that's could be why. Uh, basic circuits. That looks right. Diamond, redstone ingot, and circuits. Oh, they have to be analysed, do they? So to analyse the circuits, we need another block. Um, we need the analysing chamber. Uh, it says do not require power to operate. And operate spelt wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. So we need four more weakened diamonds, some reinforced iron blocks, and this advanced assembly, which is the earlier calculators, calculator assemblies. So I've made a few of this up, just not to delay things. Need four of those. We can put it in this block, uh, this crafting grid. Put them in, and we get an advanced assembly. 
Right, what else did we need? We needed reinforced iron blocks. So let's grab some reinforced iron. There we go. Uh, four blocks of that should do. Pop those around. This one in the middle. And what's the final thing? The weakened diamonds. Have they finished yet? They have. I've got uh, 16 of them, but we only need four. And we get the analyzing chamber. Which again, it said it doesn't need power, so I can put it anywhere I like. Where's my drill gun? There we are. Um... <laughs> Let's just put it here for now. Shouldn't matter where. All right. So we can take, uh, let's take a circuit from there. Pop it in here. And it's presumably going. It just said it doesn't require power to operate, but it's got a power meter. Huh. However, it is analyzed. Presumably you can use power to actually uh, speed things up. In this case, are you going to keep going or do I need to remove... <laughs> I'm going to get it random stuff from uh, from each of these. So I may want to make uh, a few. Let's put that back in the recipe. And what's the final one? I'm just going to get random junk. Ah, that one's analyzed with no random junk. Good. You're in there. It has a valid recipe, which it's now making. Great. And we have a basic circuit board. Uh, or we should have a basic circuit board. Ah, there we are. Okay, so the basic circuit board can then be used. So it has a few recipes, I think. Yeah, well, two that we're interested in. One, a draw controller. A liquid IO circuit board we're not interested in just yet. Although that's a change. We're going to need to automate them for printed engineering circuits for A2. We're nowhere near A2 yet, so yeah, we can just get on with this some stone, some redstone comparators, and a basic draw of some kind. All right, let's see if I've got some of that around. Some of that around. Let's just grab those out of there. Put them in. Uh, I should have some basic stone outside. We've got a stone gen, after all. And lots and lots of all. Um, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. What was the rest of the recipe? Um, a basic draw and a couple of redstone comparators. I don't think the redstone comparators are much to worry about. Uh, nether quartz, some redstone torches. Let me just grab those. One, two, and then we can just put the thing together. So we have two redstone comparators. And finally, a basic draw to get a draw controller. Wow. Okay. So finally, I can get rid of a lot of these chests and make a typical, as normal, wall of draw controllers. Uh, wall draw, wall draws with one draw controller or some slaves and uh, it's a long time getting there but thank god i can get rid of most of these chests and we can find things we want to be able to find um them all easily now in the last playthrough i did in uh, project ozone 2 i used the basic inventory panel <clears throat> that was hard to build in project ozone 2 i think it's easier in this one but there's an alternative yeah, it's dark steel, so we'd have to get into Endryo for that. Uh, the one I think I'm going to head for is the storage scanner, I think it's called. Yeah, storage scanner. That's going to need ender pearls, so I'm going to need to find those from somewhere and get some machine frame, which lets us trigger age six. So, you know, we have the capability to get some of these palace crystals now. Um, the This one is a problem. I think we can get it with rice, though. Uh, rice... Balls. So we need to go do a bit of processing, but otherwise should be fine. So the other one is end rod, which is blaze rod and popped chorus fruit. Chorus fruit, which only appears in the end. Okay. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to look at how to get to the end at some point uh, to get to the next age. But we've got a draw controller. <laughs> It seems like so anticlimactic, but it's so important to get going. All right, uh, we got this episode out of the way, and we the next one we'll have to look at. But we've got all of these. We're going to have to automate them, especially the carpenters, to get those circuit boards. Uh, I'm going to need to go through and build a few more of those, but that's why we set this up. Uh, there's just a hopper behind there, and this will just continue to output damage circuits. 
And of course, we can feed this into our draw controller or even just into a few drawers, to be honest. It doesn't have that many outputs that we don't need to but we need to worry about it putting it into our main system. Just gonna kind of buffer system we should do. And then from that buffer system, you know, we can feed it into uh, the analyzer and out from the analyzer into carpenters. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Otherwise, don't, I guess. And uh, we'll see you next time with uh, some more progress. Thanks for watching.